Hi guys, so I wanted to share this video with you because it's extremely concerning. You're going to hear from a young man called Jamie Bryce. Now Jamie is, it's claimed, represents the loyalist community in Northern Ireland. Um, but before we get to Jamie, who's going to complain about the Northern Ireland Protocol and even the Good Friday Agreement, I want to highlight two people who are on the screen here. Now, you can't see it very well because the quality of the video is terrible. I don't know what they filmed it with. But on the left is a man called Jim Allister. Now, Jim is the leader of a small party called the Traditional Unionist Voice, which is to the right of the DUP. Now, we all know the DUP are nut jobs. Well, his party is to the right of them. In the center of the screen, you can't see her very well, but it is, if you believe, Kate Hoey. Now, Kate Hoey is a member of the House of Lords, and she appeared on a boat with Nigel Farage as they sailed up the Thames to convince people to vote for Brexit, including the fishermen. Vote for Brexit. She still supports Brexit. Her problem is not Brexit. Her problem is the Northern Ireland Protocol. So she was invited. We're not going to hear from her today, but we're going to hear from Jamie. So let's hear what he had to say. Well, I see however many number of people here tonight, a vast, vast number of people. And I think people want to the message to be heard. And if you disagree with me, maybe, but I think you will all agree with me that for 23 years, our community has been expected to give and give and give. What he's talking about here, the 23 years, is since the Good Friday Agreement. So the unionist community gave, 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 and the other side just took, 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 according to him. We have been expected the destruction of the RUC. The destruction of the RUC. Now, what he's talking about here is the Ro Royal Ulster Constabulary. The RUC, until it was reformed after the Good Friday Agreement into the police service of Northern Ireland, was majority Protestant, majority Unionist. And it was seen as a pro-Unionist, pro-Protestant police force in Northern Ireland. Not a regular police force, a pro, a political police force for the Catholic community. Now, since the Good Friday Agreement, it has been reformed into a more regular police force like others around the rest of the UK. Has it been completely reformed? Has it accepted? Is it at 50-50 levels? I don't think so. But it is working towards that, a, a complete normalization of policing. That is part of the Good Friday Agreement. Jamie has a problem with that. The criminalization of our veterans. <laughs> now, you're probably, la you're probably wondering, Max, why are you laughing at such a thing? He, he cares about veterans. Um, no, <laughs> the veterans he's talking about are not the people who fought in World War II. He's not talking about veterans from the Afghan, Afghan war or the war in Iraq. The veterans he's talking about are loyalist paramilitaries who have now become drug dealers. Yes, those are the veterans he's talking about. The hounding and the dehumanization of loyalism. What? We cannot celebrate our culture. We cannot celebrate our culture. As he's standing in front of a Union flag, and on his left is a flag of Northern Ireland. Right. We cannot have our band played and everything about us. We have to give and give and give. What he's talking about here about bands playing is that what he wants is for Orange Men, who I describe as... British cosplayers, <laughs> you know, because these people don't really exist in the rest of the UK. I know some of them exist in Scotland, but re if you, you don't find many orange men in, in England or in Wales, for example. But these are people who want to put on their sashes and their bowler hats, take out their drums and play their songs, play their music in their areas, but also in areas where they're not wanted, because a lot of their songs are anti-Catholic and anti-Irish. But they want to demonstrate that they are still in charge. They want to show the Catholic community, we are the bosses here. You have to keep quiet and listen to our music. Imagine the worst music you know. Imagine, you know, the worst band in music that you hate. Imagine having to listen to that at high volume for a whole day or a whole week in some cases. And this, this, this process, this process fundamentally 
predicated upon this fundamental issue that unionism must give and nationalism must get. And I the, the unionists have been in charge for almost 100 years. And now they're complaining that, wait a minute, we, we can't be in charge for, for so much longer? Why can't we be in charge of everything? That's what he's complaining about. I want to send a clear message, and I hope you all agree with me. Enough is enough! <laughs> Just in case Dublin aren't listening or anybody else aren't listening and in case anybody thought I was joking during the week as to where these peaceful protests could, could go next, if you're going to stand with us and if you agree, here is a message to Dublin. If you don't listen, we will come to Dublin. If you don't listen, what do you want them to listen to? Because you voted for Brexit. I don't know if Jamie was old enough to vote for Brexit. But the other people sitting on that stage, they voted for Brexit. They campaigned for Brexit. Um, why are you blaming Dublin for Brexit? Shouldn't you turn around and blame Kate Hoey for Brexit? She campaigned for it. She stood on that boat with Nigel Farage convincing people like fishermen to vote for Brexit. Why are you so upset with, go with the government in Dublin? They actually told you, don't vote for Brexit. They said Brexit will be a disaster. The EU the in were the same. The EU said, look, if you want to vote for it, that's your choice. But we think it's a bad idea. The people who are telling you it was a good idea are sitting on your right. <laughs> And if Dublin wish to partition our country and wish to create instability because the protocol creates instability because it can never be, it can never coexist with stability. And if they want to create instability in Ulster, then by God, we can create instability in Dublin. So he's talking about creating instability in Dublin. What does he mean by that? Once again, Dublin was telling you don't vote for Brexit. Well, they didn't actually d directly say that, but they said Brexit is going to create problems. And you people said, no, we're not engaging in project fear. We're not listening to the scaremongering of Dublin. We're going to vote for Brexit. And now you're complaining about the consequences of Brexit. And what really upsets me about all of this is that idiot on the left, on his right, who campaigned with Nigel Farage, sat in a boat with Nigel Farage, telling fishermen in England to vote for Brexit, telling people in Northern Ireland to vote for Brexit. And when the issue of Northern Ireland was brought up, what was her response? Her response was always, stop engaging in project fear, stop scaremongering, stop using the threat of violence against the people of Northern Ireland. And what is Jamie planning to do when he arrives in Dublin? I'd love to know. Uh, why should the people of Dublin suffer the consequences of something that he voted for or he likely voted for. This is the idiocy of loyalism. They voted for something, they didn't know what they were voting for, and now they're complaining about what they've received. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons you ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?